Um, oh, this needs a little bit more light. Um, I've been working on my monologue. As a lot of people know, my favorite play, one of them is Uncle Vanya, in particular, the Andre Gregory directed Vanya and 42nd Street that my fave Julianne Moore was in. I saw that at a very formative age. If I'm not mistaken, at the Key Theater, which is not there anymore in Georgetown, the Key Theater is the key. Yeah, I'm a big movie fanatic, my friends. And I ended up writing a dissertation about gangster movies that was very well admired by a lot of people. But then I thought, you know what? Can I make my own gangster movie? And it turned out it was just my life. <laughs> True story. Anyway, I saw Vanya on 42nd Street, I'm pretty sure, at the Keith Theater in Georgetown, Washington, D.C., in the Georgetown neighborhood of Washington, D.C., which is right there on Wisconsin Avenue, wasn't it? What's that, Wisconsin Avenue and M Street? It's like so far back there in my memory. I haven't been to that part of DC in so long. But I did live in DC one summer. I went to middle school and high school right outside DC. I went to college at the University of Virginia. It's always in DC. My brother and sister-in-law lived there for years. Honorary sister-in-law, I don't want anybody to tell me. They would be, they, my brother and his longtime partner, who identifies as female, cis. You know, I've been working on this book project and I'm all over the place. Let me just read my fucking monologue. Astroff. Right, the doctor character. You can burn peat in your stoves and build your barns of stone. Oh, I don't object, of course, to cutting wood from necessity, but why destroy the forests? The woods of Russia are trembling under the blows of the axe. Millions of trees have perished. The homes of the wild animals and birds have been desolated. The rivers are shrinking and many beautiful landscapes are gone forever. And why? Because men are too lazy and stupid to stoop down and pick up their fuel from the ground. Am I right, madam? Who but a stupid barbarian could burn so much beauty in his stove and destroy that which he cannot make? Man is endowed with reason and the power to create so that he may increase that which has been given him, but until now he is not created but demolished. The forests are disappearing, the rivers are running dry, the game is exterminated. And it just goes on and on and on and on. Chekhov, comma, Anton, the playwright, produced this work officially in 1897, turn of the you heard the buzzer, turn of the 20th century, motherfucker, is right on time as always. 
It's more than 125 years ago. 126, 127, 128 years ago. Am I correct on that? 427 years ago. Something like that. People were observing that maybe the Industrial Revolution that maybe ruining the countryside, the capitalism, racial, always and already because capitalism was birthed through the wombs of countless black women, which is to say African-American women. It's a bit off topic, of course, but the point I'm always trying to make is in times of great crisis, people do point out that the shit has hit the fan. It's just the question is, do the people in power listen? Listen, Madonna says if you go against the laws of the universe, you reap the karma that comes from that. Well, I know myself that if you go against the laws of nature, you reap the karma that goes with that, which is why I have always been very fortunate to know what karma means as well as chameleon, my friends, because I grew up with the super gays, like the two Georges, Boy and Michael. And now I'm a super gay. Myself, my friends, lucky me. Nothing's taboo. And nothing can scare you but yourself. Especially if you sleep on your ego instead of sticking it. In the face with a pistol and going kaboom. Never forget, I stand for George Smiley. And I've been verified, my friends. I'm a Pennsylvania ace. City of Brotherly Love, I fucking made that down. Yeah. I said, fuck you, Rocky. I once had a cat named Rocky. sign get it straight and happy pride it's a 10 back 
and forth.